Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll continue where we left off in the previous video and look at how to use the goal seek function to see what is the um, you know maximum annual lease payment that we should be paying given our uh, cost parameters. So you have the cost of asset 9000. If um, it is um, depreciated using a purchase, then uh, through a straight line method, you spend you depreciate three thousand dollars a year but uh, let's say you have a lease payment the alternative is uh, to purchase it via a lease payment of four thousand dollars per year for four years um, <clears throat> and your bank interest rate that you can avail from the bank is 12 percent and your tax rate income tax rate is 30 percent so what we'd like to do is uh, we want to make sure that the internal rate of return for the lease savings match the internal rate of return for the alternative cost of borrowing this money from the bank and purchasing the asset. So how do you make sure this equals 8%? So the way to do that is we want to get Excel to actually, let me just increase the screen area. So we want to get Excel to modify this annual lease payment value so that this IRR becomes 8%. So if you were to reduce this, say 3000, <clears> you can see that this is now 15%. So maybe you re reduce it to 2000. Um, this becomes minus 5%. Okay, so it's somewhere between 3000 and 2000. Now, is there a way to get Excel to do this automatically, rather than just us going on changing this value here? There is and that is called goal seek. So let me just pull this down again. What I want to do is go into data click on the data tab, click on what if analysis, and this will appear slightly different if your screen is a little larger. See, um, so if you enlarge this, it'll appear like this. So don't um, uh, worry about the different difference in the appearance. So go to the what if analysis and go to goal seek and click on goal seek. So what you're asking Excel to do is it's, um, you want to select cell uh, C19, um, and you want to set it to 8% by changing the cell C4. Okay, so if you give these parameters and you click OK, Goal Seek will then automatically find that value of the cell C4, which will result in an 8% IRR for the lease um, savings. So click OK, and uh, that's your value there. So 2668 dollars and 85 cents and if you want you can change the format to dollars so that's the annual lease payment that you can expect to pay which will result in the IRR of lease savings um, being exactly equal to the alternative cost which is eight percent 